What's up? It's Daniel here in the Drone Fly Workshop. And today we have a special guest in the house, Grant Hostica from DJI. And we're going to talk all about Flight Hub 2. Don't go anywhere. All right, Grant, before we get started, man, uh, let's talk what is Flight Hub 2. At a high level, live operations management for drone operations, bringing everyone who's involved in the operation onto the same page. What drones are compatible with Flight Hub 2? Matrice 30 series, so the M30 and the M30T, and then the Matrice 300 series, optimized for the H20 payload, so the H20N, H20T, and H20. How does Flight Hub 2 integrate into the new RC Plus? On the new RC Plus, you can open up the Pilot 2 app, and then on the main screen, there's an easy option to connect to Flight Hub 2. Just put in your DJI account login credentials within the Pilot app, and then you can join the organization and specific project from the Flight Hub 2 side. Who was Flight Hub 2 designed for? Yeah, anyone who may need live operations management or to provide information to their pilots in the field. What are some of the primary use cases for Flight Hub 2? So one we talked about earlier this week a lot was actually using Flight Hub 2 during wildfire scenarios. So first of all, on the main screen, you have your 2.5D map option. So you can, as you're holding down the control button on your keyboard, manipulate the map, see any terrain, the altitude of the drone as it's flying. You can also turn on the laser rangefinder and see exactly what the drone is looking at during that time while seeing a live view from the FPV camera or the payload. So as an incident commander, very useful to see a live view from either the thermal camera, the FPV camera, the drone, or whatever the pilot is looking at in that scenario. Furthermore, as the pilot, you may be marking points of interest. After the fire, there's cleanup stage. So outside the perimeter, maybe there's some hot spots, marking that with the laser rangefinder. And now those points can be viewed by the incident commander in Flight Hub 2 on a computer screen. They can export those to another software or they can even have the ground teams pull Flight Hub 2 up on the mobile device, but they can see the location of those points there or places they need to go. So that's, I guess, a quick scenario there. Another one, when we get into the ability to import, export KMLs, where we have points, lines, and polygons, you can think about utility line inspections, being able to send a pilot information in regards to where the lines and poles are located makes life a lot easier when you're trying to fly a circuit. I know you touched on this just a little bit ago, but how is Flight Hub 2 going to change the way that people work? Yeah, so one of the exciting brand new features I would say you're only going to find on Flight Hub 2 is live 2D mapping. So as the drone is flying and collecting data, it'll go in a lawnmower pattern, essentially mapping an area like a typical drone mapping mission. That is going to be reconstructed in the cloud, and you're able to see that imagery on both the remote controller and on Flight Hub 2. So you can think of post-disaster type scenario, had a tornado go through town, you need to easily assess maybe which houses are damaged, you can start filing insurance claims there, or what the best route is for first responders to get through. So I'd say the live 2D mapping is really a great avenue for the Flight Hub 2 that's really new to the game. Walk me through how you would plan a mission in Flight Hub. So you start off with an organization. So we'll say Daniel's Police Department here. And then maybe you have a specific mission that comes up. You have a search and rescue, so you'd create a project from there. You have the different people on your team. They have DJI accounts, so you can add them to that specific project. On the controller, they're already connected to your organization, so they'll just select that specific project. And then they're able to push information two ways. You can send information to them, and they can send information to you, and that's all housed within that specific project. This is a lot of information, so how do you manage media with Flight Hub 2? Within the controller, you have the optional ability to upload images, photos, and panoramas. So panoramas are one that's a little unique. You can get a wide 360 view while keeping the media size smaller. So if you're struggling with network connectivity, a 30 megabyte or so panorama file is gonna give you a wide view of the area from a singular point. So when you view the uploaded media in Flight Hub 2, you can pin those photos or panoramas directly to the map so you can see exactly where they were captured. 
very useful as you're trying to view live operations. You can quickly open a panorama to get an idea of what the scene is looking like or even where exactly the drone was where a photo was taken. Well, Grant, thank you so much for joining us today in the Drone Fly Workshop. We learned so much about Flight Hub too, man. Thanks so much. Well, if you have any questions about the new platform, give us a call, email us, or visit our website at dronefly.com. And make sure to leave a comment and let us know what you think. I'm Daniel, and I'll see you next time.